So <laughs> every Friday, so I went to school in St. David's and that meant that I had hardly any friends who lived in town as well. Um, they all were dotted along the St. David's Road. But every Friday, my little group of friends, apart from me, would go to a performing arts class that was at like six o'clock or something. So on those Fridays, everyone would be on the town bus coming home, coming back to, Pem to Hufford West with me. And we'd all chill in town for like two hours before they went to their performing arts class. And they were just so much fun. <laughs> Those two hours every week with like the things that we lived for. And we'd go um, to the Shaky Shack, which is astonishingly still there. And uh, it's down by, um, it's like by Iceland. And uh, we would, like sit in there for so long and even now if I go in there the guy who owns it still recognizes me and asks how I am and how we're all doing um and we would my friend was terrified of pigeons but it was like quite she was hilariously terrified of pigeons and so we'd always run down uh, Bridge Street and I would like have to scare the pigeons off for her, but it would always mean they'd swoop back here and she'd be like screaming and sprinting down Bridge Street. And it always caused the scene and it was very amusing. And uh, we'd also, for some reason, go and sit in the castle quite a lot. I, I don't think I've been back to the castle for like 10 years, but there's a, a little turret, I guess. Like when you walk in and go to the right, there's a turret and you can kind of like sit in the windows and um, look out over town. And we used to chill out there all the time. I don't know what we did, but we would just sit there and chat. And it was somewhere to be that didn't have any grown ups. And <laughs> yeah, apart from that, I mean, town, yeah, town also meant that I had to walk all the way home, which was a half hour walk. <laughs> So a lot of it was traversing through town if I was by myself. Oh, yeah. I mean, there was a point where I got in with the bad crowd and then town became something else. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't really remember much about that. I just remember being outside Morrison's and... Uh, I didn't, at this point, I didn't realise that the group that I was hanging out with weren't that, weren't that fab people, you know, that they were doing bad things. I had no idea. I was so innocent. I didn't realise. And the manager of Morrison's came out and told us all to move away. And uh, I was quite happy to. I was a law-abiding little child. I was very innocent. So I was like, yeah, okay, let's go over to the, the, the web thing, the park that's next to it. But one of the guys picked me up and put me in one of the bins outside Morrison's and because uh, I'm so short I couldn't get out and the manager was just shouting at me and shouting at me to, to leave and move and I said like, I just I cannot get out of this bin I'm so sorry <laughs> I don't know how I got out I don't remember but I, I haven't been back to Morrison's like hardly ever because I'm so scared of the manager there and this must have been like 12 years ago <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I don't I don't think I was put in like feet first I think you know when you like a sandwich <laughs> like that. and so I <laughs> like my bum was down in the bin but my feet and my legs and my arms were out um, <laughs> yeah I don't know who put me in but <laughs> I didn't hang out with that crowd much longer after that.